we have a public library and the largest insane asylum in the state. Come on, Joe, let it down. All right, all right, slacken it up, will you? They sure were great fights last night, O'Hare. Yes, they were, yeah. Never saw a better fight in my life. I got a kick out of them myself. So did I, so did I, so did I. I fought like a couple of dressmakers. When I see fights like that, I feel like getting back into condition and getting into the fight game myself again. Ah, that's better. Hello, O'Hare. What do you know? Not a thing, not a thing. That lug tells his wife everything he knows. I should tell him anything. Good morning, Mr. O'Hare. Oh, good morning, Mr. Scoggins. How's Mr. Scoggins? He's not so well this morning. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm worried about him. Yeah, I am too. He was out on one of his benders last night again. Why, I can even drink that raw alcohol and live, I don't know. Fine Mary he is. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. I think all I gotta do all day long is paint that pool. Pop, Mom says for you to come up and get your fiddles right away. Get my fiddles? I'll be right with you, Ronald. Pop, you wanna hear a riddle? I'd love to hear a riddle, Ronald. What is it? I'm afraid you have me, Ronald. Why is a cat tail like a long journey? But it's first in the end. Oh, <laughs> Ronald, very good. You're absolutely side splitting. Sit down and eat your dinner. Want no meat? Vegetables contain more minerals. Huh? You want to hear another cat riddle? Yes, I would, Ronald. I'd love to. What looks most like a cat looking out of a window? I don't know. What looks most like the domestic feline contentedly gazing from the window? I'll tell you, Pop. What looks most like a cat looking out of a window? Another cat looking in. <laughs> oh, very good, Ronald. Very good. <laughs> eat your spinach. Eat your spinach. Eat your spinach. Pop, would you like to hear another riddle? <gasps> don't encourage him. Eat your carrots. Why, dear, that shows he's awfully smart. Mr. Lincoln used to tell riddles, and not as much as anything else, made him the wonderful president that he was. Huh? Why is a load of hay like a mouse? <gasps> Don't, my poor brain. He gives me soul pains with these terrible wheezes. Do you know why a load of hay is like a mouse? No, Ronald, I do not. I've never noticed a similarity between the small rodent and the large amount of horse's provender. Why does a small rodent resemble a load of hay? Because cattle eat it. <laughs> cattle eat it. Cattle eat it. Very good, Ronald. Very good. Eat your spinach. Eat your spinach. Eat your spinach. Hey, what are you? Yes? Coming, coming, coming. Long me, Coming, 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 coming. Hey, what are you? Somebody told me that you wanted to buy a fiddle. Well, as a matter of fact, a few weeks ago I did, but I had Lena all fixed up and I'm perfectly satisfied with her now. And me push him for three miles. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, hey, hey, boy. Can I keep him here till I come back from work? Can oh, I surely, surely. Put him right in the corner here. That's fine. Uh, put him right in there. That's okay. Yeah. That's fine. You take good care of him. Eh? I'll take good care of him, yes. Hello, boy. Goodbye. Well, I just not. I don't want to Mind your mama, I don't want to or whatever it is. How do you do, Horton? Or, uh, Miss Shug? Have a nice lunch? Yes. I had a wonderful steak at the lunch counter. Steak. Mm -hmm. I love meat. But, uh, we never have it at our house. My wife's a vegetarian. All we have is vegetables. Say, I was uh, practicing last night on Lena out in the garage. 
And I think I got that down fine now. Would you mind listening to it? Oh, I'd love to. Much better than it was, Jesse. Isn't it funny? My wife doesn't think it's music. Yes, she just has no ear for it. Here's the other one. This is the second note here. That's more difficult that way when you have to move your hands around that way. How do you do, sir? Down. Manicure? No. Hair color shave? <clears throat> yeah. I beg your pardon. Isn't your name Flug? Yeah. I thought so. I didn't recognize your face when you first came in. Now it's all healed up since I was in here last. Uh. Well, Mr. O'Hare, I see they're offering $2,000 reward for that bandit who robbed the bank at Cocomonga City. $2,000. I'd like to get that, Joe. If I wasn't so busy, I'd go over and choke that guy to death. I'd teach him not to rob banks in and around Milton City. Oh, Mr. O'Hare. Did you know you had your hat on backwards? Oh, I beg your pardon? Did you know you had your hat on backwards? Oh, no. Oh, thank you very much. I had it on backwards day before yesterday, and a friend of mine came up and kicked me in the stomach. Dropping, dropping. Hey, Joe, don't hit me. Hold it, hold it. Dropping. Be careful, boys. Be careful. I haven't thrown a spitball since I was first line pitcher on the Baltimore Orioles years ago. Oh, son. Careful. Get on the other side of the street. Okay. There she goes. Oh. <gasps> Well, he, he didn't hit it. Dropping, <laughs> dropping, 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 yellow's finish hole. No, 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 no. Stopping away from the song. Nelly, 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 Shut your eyes, please. That tickles? A little in the ear there, but that won't hurt. I'll Some of this fat off of me, she'll leave me. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
Just step right this way, will you? Right in here. Here's the room right here. Yeah. Just go into this hangar. Change your clothes in there. If you ever took it, your shoes off, it's right up in the air. Hey, what's that dog doing in here? Oh, it's a very funny thing. The other day, a man was in here, and I was shaving him. The razor slipped, and I cut his ear off. The dog got it. Ever since, he's been hanging around here for... Go away, go away, go away. He's going to get another... He can't get another ear here. I won't set it. Well, got to fall through the same as you do with a hockey club. I just sharpened these razors up a moment. And... Ah, there you are. Here they are. Here's the steam room. Right in there. Right in there and sit down. And uh, I'll turn the steam on right away. Come on, Ethel. Get excited. There you are. Now, uh, don't stay in here over a minute. See, and uh, if it gets too hot, just to press that button and the light will go on. And if you get in any trouble, just pull that rope and the horn will blow up there and I'll get you right out. Now, it won't be long. He's in there a minute. It'll take a ton off of him. Just one little hot towel and we'll be right through with you. You think you've heard the last of this? You're mistaken. Mm -hmm. 
You deliberately locked me in that room. Why, that's a colossal fib. I'm a very kind-hearted person. I've never hurt man, beast, or child. Except when I had to. Well, Lena, let's get going. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, howdy do, howdy do, howdy do. I'd like to have my little girl's hair cut. Oh, surely. She's a very pretty little girl. I'd love to cut her hair. Thank Just you. Just because I'm a dad. See, she knows where to go, doesn't she? Yes, she does indeed. Yeah, it's a very pretty hat she has on also. Yeah, she's been to a maypole dance today. Has she? Yes. Uh -huh. You want your hair cut? No. Glory, you. Oh, have your hair cut. I'll just take her hat off. Do you mind? I don't want my hat off. Oh, have it off, dear. Have your hat off. You mustn't wear a hat when you're having your hair cut. <laughs> no, indeed. <laughs> She has two hats, doesn't she? Yeah. Maybe she better keep her hat on. Might not be bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Now, look here. I know what she likes. There's a nice stick of candy for you. No, aren't okay. you ashamed? Yeah. That's the barbershop candy. I have plenty of it. Do you think they were really chasing the bandit, Mr. O'Hare? Sure it was. For two pins, I'd close this shop and go over and get them and chuck them to death with my bare hands. That's the way we used to choke wolves to death years ago in the Northwest. I belong to the Bare Hand Wolf Chokers Association. Had to choke a wolf to death where you could belong to the so This is a gentleman ahead of you. That's absurd. Uh, After I've waited here this length of he time. He telephoned me. He sent a telegraph boy. A uh, telephone. Say, what's uh, the uh, matter with you? He was here. He, he came. You act like an idiot. Uh, I'll tell you that. I'm Come on, sorry. Laurie. We'll get out of this place. I think I'll go upstairs in just a minute. Say where you are. Yes, sir. Listen, Bob. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You've got just ten minutes to make me look like another man. Yes, sir. i got to get out of this town. i got to get out fast. Mm -hmm. Get that thing off there. Yes, sir. Come on, now. Make it snappy. I think I'll go home, Mr. O'Hare. Stay where you are. Listen, Bob, I get this. Take the mustache off, take the tabs off, take the eyebrows off, close crop the hair, and make it snappy. Uh, have you tried that uh, good barber down at the hotel? He's wonderful. Um, get I'm, busy. I'm the worst barber in town. My wife will tell you that, won't she? Would you take uh, those off? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What are you doing? A minute. Are you going to get going, or are you going to get going? I'm going to get going. Lock the door, Miss Sharp. Hangway, please. Ronald. Huh? You want to hear another rumor? 
<laughs> not now, Ronald, not now. I'm not in the mood. Go upstairs and eat your spinach. Never mind, Mr. O'Hare. I know you caught the bandit. I know I caught him, too. What's the good of arguing with those people? They're all nervous. I can't talk to them at all. Come on, Lena. Let's go to her. Devils are just as lively as can be, too. Lena, how could you? 